Who doesn't love free software? If you're a home labber and a tinkerer like I am, then you know this addiction can get quite expensive. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at all of my favorite software that I think every home labber should know about. Okay, so I'm gonna start off and say, I know everyone has their own opinions on what software is better than what. So before I get into my favorites, I wanna just cover that really quick and say, I am aware that there's plenty of alternatives to certain softwares that are out there. So now that we got that covered, you guys can share how you work things in the comments below, hopefully in a good way. So jumping right in, the first thing I wanna to talk today about is Proxmox. And this is a wonderful, wonderful software. If you're into virtual machines and virtual environments, containers, you can do all of that with Proxmox. Proxmox has helped me learn and become much more uh, efficient in virtual machines and even in Docker. So that is definitely the first choice for me on today's list. With Proxmox, you don't need a fancy server. Now, if you go to the Proxmox subreddit, for example, you might see all these fancy servers or commercial servers that people are using like uh, Dell R servers or um, HP Proliant servers. You don't need that. In fact, my first uh, node was actually built on a HP Elite Desk 800 something or another. I mentioned it in a previous video, but it was a very small thin client type machine with a uh, very limited space and I actually ran two or three VMs on it completely fine. So number one, Proxmox, there it is. Uh, definitely a wonderful, wonderful software, like I said. And like I said, you don't need fancy hardware to run um, a, a node from it. Um, just have very limited RAM and very limited space. And I was able to cook up a couple VMs on it and run some Docker applications and quite a few other things on it as well. So moving along, speaking of Docker, that's actually what uh, my number two choice uh, for free software is. And let's dive into a little bit about Docker. The reason why I love Docker so much is not only because it's free. Yes, of course I love it because it's free, but I love it because it just makes managing your applications and services so much easier and updating them is, is pretty easy and getting started with Docker is pretty, I think, fairly easy. It can seem kind of daunting at first, uh, but there's plenty of great tutorials out there and uh, I've got a couple on my website uh, that you can check out too. And I also do plan on doing some, uh, some more tutorials with Docker in the future. So check out Docker if you haven't already. And if you guys have any questions about Docker, I highly, highly recommend getting your feet wet with Docker and using it for your home lab. We just talked about Docker and using Docker for services and applications, but what if you want to expose those over the internet securely? Well, that's where Nginx Proxy Manager comes in, or also known as Reverse Proxy Manager. This is great if you want to get free SSLs, uh, certificates for all of your subdomains, and you can do all that securely right through a beautiful web UI. So what's next? Um, well, we've got all this stuff and I don't really want to get into applications because that's kind of where Docker comes in and all the services and applications. We all know there's plenty of those that you can install and there's probably hundreds and hundreds of them actually, but how do you organize all that stuff and keep track of where everything is? All the IPs and the ports that everything's installed on? Well, that's what we're talking about right now. When it comes to organization, I like to use wiki tools, and this is Bookstack. There's just so much you can do with this, and installing it on Docker is pretty simple. Just being able to organize all of your thoughts, and for example, I actually use this for YouTube to store my YouTube ideas and things I need to do in maybe in the future. So, as you can see, I create books and stuff for things I want to remember, and that's what I reference when I need to definitely great. I know there's plenty of alternatives out there, but this I think by far is definitely my favorite one, especially when it comes to aesthetics and looks. So now that we've got our thoughts organized, how about all those services and applications we were talking about? That is where I use Heimdall. Um, I've also used Dash Machine in the past and I highly recommend Dash Machine as well. There are plenty of free dashboards out there that you can use to organize your services. Now I know you're probably thinking, why not just use favorites? Well, when you can put all this behind a reverse proxy and you can access this stuff remotely, it just makes things really cool. And I just think it's just a geeky thing to do. So you can show all your friends all of your cool services right here in one place. You even have some interactive stuff like this with Pi-hole where you can see the queries, you can see different things um, within the system. Now Dash Machine does some similar stuff as well. Currently using Heimdall, I just installed this a few days ago, super simple, and it's actually running on a Docker container on Proxmox on one of my VMs. So you can clearly see where I went with all of this. Started with Proxmox, create the VMs, put Docker on it, 
get organized, and that's where we are today. That's where I'm at right now, anyway. So who knows where I'll be tomorrow or even next week. But And I'm sure you guys have plenty of comments and plenty of thoughts about, you know, the things that I mentioned. And I will put a link in the description below to a ton of awesome self-hosted applications and services that you can put on your home labs, tinker around with, play with yourself, and use all the stuff here that I provided today to help you do that. Are you not subscribed? Why not? Consider subscribing. If this helped you out, click that like button. There's a bell icon too. Click that if you want to know when my videos drop. Also, we have a Discord channel. That link is in the description below along with all of the products and gear that I use here on the channel in the studio. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.